Greetings. Welcome to Africa Lad YouTube channel. So I want to continue to talk about what I call scam. I think these things, these are Ponzi schemes. I think these are MLM, in fact. Those, those are the things I want to talk about because I really want my people to get this because they're targeting my people, black people, poor people. They're targeting us. So I want you guys to get this. But of course, anybody else out there, white, black, wherever, you know, you get this message. I want to touch on a little bit of hyperverse to hyper nation. And of course, PLCU or PLCUX, Novotech, all those kind of places where I think people are using those platforms to scam people. Or those platforms themselves are Ponzi schemes. They're all scamming people, whoever is behind them. That's what I think anyway. But before I get into all of that, please don't forget to help me subscribe, click the notification bell, click the like button so that this video will reach more people. Because this is sending a message that, that might save somebody that you know or you may not even know. But it's good that we share this. So by clicking the like button, YouTube gets to know that people like this video and then you reach more people. Of course, by subscribing, same thing, you help to spread the message out. And then making your comments, man. Drop comments and share it. Let people hear this message. Let people know you're helping me. I'm helping you out. Um, as you can see today, I got the hoodie up again. Nice, isn't it? Different hoodie, actually. <laughs> I'm trying to look like Mr. H. Anyway, I mean, I'm trying to be funny, but it's serious. It's very, very, very serious. This is important, okay? So I don't know if it's just me or people just like to be scammed. I don't understand it. Please, you help me explain this. I don't know whether people just like to be scammed or it's just me trying to be clever. I don't understand it. Yeah, or is it just people are so gullible that they're easy to brain, to be brainwashed? I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. The reason why I'm saying this is because I have got hold of some leaked um, videos and some communication that i've seen you know that some somebody leaked out somewhere i found on people communicating on telegram there's the hyperverse group on, on telegram or whatever i call it hyper nation whatever those groups plcu groups as well but in particular this hyperverse to hyper nation and the novotech and these things with the hyperverse thing i have seen people crying complaining getting really angry sending messages complaining about their monies about how they've put their monies in and they, they haven't been able to withdraw anything back that they were promised and this is since april early april people put money in to buy these things they call whatever that is and get rewards or whatever and then keep putting money in and they they promise them that they will get their whatever 1x back or plus their rewards they promise them they will make 0.5% a day and they will 3x their money when they switch to something else. Listen, I don't know all the terminologies, if I'm honest with you, but what I've read and what I've heard is crazy how someone will promise you 0.5% a day, they will promise you 3x your money, they will promise you 10x your money, 9x, whatever languages they're using. I don't understand how people cannot just use common knowledge and understand that there is no quick fix to being rich, becoming a millionaire. I don't understand it. People have been complaining that their monies are, are, are stuck in this hyperverse thing. They've been complaining. They've been crying. They've been asking questions. They're not getting straightforward answers. Since April, some people put money. Till this day that I'm speaking to you, there are people who are still struggling to even get the money they put back because some of them, they promised them that they will get their 1x back. They call it 1x that the money, the, the initial money they put in, they'll get it back. They haven't got it back yet. Some people, they managed to give them their one X back. Some they, do, they didn't give them. Some they haven't got it yet. Some may not even get it. But guess what? Some of these same people are now investing, investing in hyper nation. They're buying yellow box, green box, whatever that is. Say they're buying NFTs. I just can't comprehend why you cannot see that this is not working. This is something wrong somewhere. 
you have put whatever money. I know some people put loads of money. People put 10K, 5K, 3K, whatever in because they've been promised that money is going to 10X is going to whatever, 3X, you go 0.5% on your money back if you invest. They haven't, get the, they haven't got their initial investment back. They haven't got any profit because what they've been telling them is, oh, there's a glitch in the IT system. There, is, there are people trying to withdraw. That's why there's a problem. Guys, I am an IT analyst myself. Yeah. I work in IT for a long time. I cannot understand how IT system will go down for one month, two months, three months in a massive company that is claiming that they own billions or millions or whatever that is. How? People not getting their money back, people not getting their profits. And then they're telling them, we're moving from hyperverse to hyper nation. Hyperverse is not going to be fully functional or it's going to downscale. That's what, they, what they're using. But they're giving you mixed messages, mixed messages in fact. Because at one at some at one at some point they're saying everything's gonna be fine, you can stay with hyperverse, all everything will work fine still, you'll get all your rewards, whatever. On the other hand, they're saying, well, if you don't move to hyper nation, hyperverse is gonna carry on, but hyperverse is gonna downscale, which means some of those rewards you're not gonna get. You, you probably don't even get any profits, nothing. But when some people are asking questions, they're telling them basically all the information they're giving them is not straightforward. It's either Hyperverse is going to be there running fully and you're going to get your money and profits or rewards, whatever way they call it, because they're not trying, they have, some of them are pretending as if it's not money, they're trying to use other words. But if you stay there, you don't move to Hyper Nation, you're not going to get certain benefits. And Hyperverse is going to stop, it's going to downscale. That's what they're using. Something keep older, what's going on here? If I put my money in Hyperverse, and that's where I want to start. I don't want to go to another, to hyper nation or to anything else. Why can't my money still run here for me to make the money that I'm supposed to make? This is an investment. Why? And what's interesting is they're telling the people to move from hyperverse to hyper nation in a short space of time. Yeah, they're giving them short time to move to make the decision. So you see how what they're doing? They're making you feel like, oh, you have to do it now. You have to do it now. They're putting that urgency in your head, and without you having full details, not knowing enough about the company you, first of all people are trying to understand what hyperverse is <laughs> they have not even fully understood it they are trying to move them to a hyper nation and these leaders you know des lawrence all those guys that are in there they're trying to bring this information to them they don't even know according to them they don't even have all the answers either so if they don't have the answers why are they still recruiting people why are they still giving training because that's how they call it training yeah they said training and I've seen some messages where they actually say recruits. And other people who are in that group are talking about their downlines, which means it's MLM. They have downlines, they have uplines, and they have leaders. And then they say they're giving training to people. They are recruiting people for hyper nation, whereas they're still struggling with hyperverse. They have not even they don't even have straight answers for these people. They kept coming back to say the corporate say this, the corporate say that. Who is the corporate? It's ridiculous. Then there's a guy called Mr. He dressed like this. Mr. H, hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mr. H, the publicity director, whatever nonsense. I don't understand why you would put money or give your money to somebody that you don't even know. You can't even see their face. They are hiding. But you took, took your money and gave it to this guy saying, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a legit business. It's good. And then they use the words. That's why you see these guys are coming to your uplines or whatever. They'll tell you to say, only invest what you're willing to lose. That is stupid. Clearly, somebody starts to tell you that, you should be worried. Because that's the words they use. They're trying to play on your head. They're trying to play with you to say, only invest what you're willing to lose as a way to secure their back. To say, we, we warned you. If you know you're not willing to lose that money, don't put it in. You see, that's what they're using. And then because you are greedy, because you are poor, and you like religion, they will use you in that way. You put money in because they promise you 9x, 10x. It's insane what our people believe, what people get into, what people do to make money as well. It's insane. I've seen people investing again and asking questions about hyper nation. One other lady who puts 100k, she's stressing now she can't get her money back. Somebody else puts <laughs> her children's money. 
They can't get their money back. They haven't got their money back yet. Their whole family's money is in there. One lady, whatever, you know, I saw a video from my friend, Danny De Hick, posted a video about a lady who invests in 50K. Her husband is warning her, her family is warning her to say, hang on, this and that. She's still going to invest. Yeah, I was trying to put those links below so you guys can go watch Danny De Hick. He's a very good, good guy. He's posting a lot about these things. You need to check him out. You know, so this hyperverse to hyper nation thing, as we all know the history, they've started from hyper fund or hyper capital, whatever they've started with. They've moved on every time they move into the next one to the next one. The idea is, of course, when they first started, they'll make some of you happy. They'll make one of people win some money because I know somebody was arguing with me saying, well, it was working last year. I made some money and stuff like that. But what's funny is that same person now complained to me how her money is stuck in hyperverse and right now she's not happy with those leaders with theirs and those people when they came with hyper nation yeah you said no it worked before of course at the beginning they'll make some of you happy make you work for starters so you guys can advertise to bring more people in fact and that person that was talking i wonder whether also that person is high up anyway because those when i checked the the write-up that got leaked i read all the admins always saying, well, I withdrew money, I withdrew, I withdrew. But all the other people down there and were not withdraw withdrawing their monies. Since April, people were complaining every month, asking, every day asking. They're telling them to be patient, they're telling them to be positive. And if you say anything negative, they kick you out of the group. They kick you out. If you say anything like, where is my money? I don't believe in this, I don't trust this. Oh, you're negative, we, need, we don't need negative energy. We need positive energy here. They've kicked some people out of the group. I know somebody who complained that they kicked them out of the group because they were complaining. They were only asking for their money. They were only challenging the system. So in a system where they said there is freedom, there is, it's not regulated, there's justice. Now somebody's complaining about their money, they kick you out just because you say you challenge. They said you're negative. They are preaching that the world we're living in is not democratic or it's not freedom. They stand that. That's why they have this crypto world or whatever. Now somebody tried to ask for their money. They kick them out. They said they're negative. They say you should speak positive. It's just ridiculous, man. I'm not against crypto. Of course, if you want to invest in crypto, go ahead. Some people might make money. But those people who are coming to <laughs> recruit you or telling you that they have a, 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 a system or a scheme or whatever coin they've created that will give you three times your money back in the space of one month or two months or maybe six months or even a year. You should watch out for those kind of people, guys. But some of you even have seen that, listen, this is crazy this is a scam you have seen that you know they're taking your money you know you're not going to get your money back but for some reason you you decided to invest again to invest in the other one how what's going on my people what is happening now they're putting money into this hyper nation when they went there i saw some people complaining again all of a sudden they're complaining so well um, Hyper Nation, because they were promoting one coin. Next minute, when they said the big launch, when they launched this Hyper Nation, they were promoting two more coins or whatever, two more schemes they've <laughs> they've released. People don't even understand the thing yet. They now have to deal with three or four different um, items in it. And people are still fine and they're asking questions. And for some reason, these leaders or admins, what do they call it, VIP5 or whatever, the nodes, super nodes, they are good at brainwashing these guys man talking to these people using gospel using religion using race they're using all of that i've seen some of these leaders making zoom meetings they are actually quoting bible scriptures especially when they're talking to black people and africans they are quoting scriptures from the bible in the name of we want to inspire we want to train you it's, it's crazy anyway i've talked a little bit about hyperverse to hyper nation i want to touch on plcu and this plcu excerpt so for those who are investing in this PLCU, I feel like PLCU is similar to the same kind of scheme. Any crypto thing or any business where somebody has to get you to get somebody else to get somebody else to sell and give you rewards, clearly that's MLM. And MLM, trust me, man, you're not going to make money. The people who are making money is very, very little, tiny percentage, man. Very small. You should know that it is difficult even genuine MLMs where they sell products, because the MLMs, you can you sell products. You, you have to be able to sell things, really. And by the time you recruit it, your neighbors, maybe they also were recruited. Who's going to sell to whom? So you're going to watch out for that as well. But any MLM system where, or any business system where it's relied on 
you recruiting people and people recruiting people people in order for you to make money that's mlm that's pyramid scheme you should know that the people who are going to make the money is the very one at the top the little maybe five six people but all i'm saying is plcu is dropping i think when i checked today it was about two thousand nine hundred dollars kind of thing now they were claiming that in december it's going to fly up. It's going to, and I see people still talking about it as if it's going to shoot up. It's going to be number one coin and stuff like that. They are even comparing with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is dropped. It's dropping. Yes, obviously, the market is crashing. A lot of things are happening. But to say that um, PLCU is the same as Bitcoin, that's why I'm confused. Like, again, I'm not a crypto person. I don't understand how it works. But I'm just using common sense. My knowledge is telling me. Looking at the market, crypto with the, the crypto market, I'm looking at Bitcoin. I'm looking at PLCU. You can see the ma there's a massive difference, and also under Bitcoin, the way people talk about it, it's not this. It's different to how people talk about under PLCU. Under PLCU, you can just see a lot of people making comments that they're just trying to hype the coin. They're just talking all these big mouths. Oh, to the moon, 100k soon. This and that. You can tell the difference when you look under the community, the comments under Bitcoin versus the comments under PLCU. You can tell people just paid to talk nonsense there. Or some people who've already invested, but they're embarrassed. They just talk nonsense. It's going to go to 100K very soon. The thing is dropping, you know. Right now it's 2,000. When I spoke to you, the last video I did a few weeks ago was about 3,000 some hundred. Now it's 2,900. You know what I mean? PLCU have tried to get into, well, they said they were going to get into Binance and all these other big crypto market or whatever I call it. I don't know the terminology, terminology like I mentioned, but I don't know Binance, I think it's a big market or whatever. Now, this guy said to them, you've got to drop the MLM side of the business if he wants us to get you. I think I think they've tried twice. These big markets could not get them. They will not get there. Now, if the big company is telling you to drop the MLM, why is that? I'm asking this question because somebody was trying to argue me bitterly as if what they're doing is not MLM. So why did they ask him to drop MLM? And if MLM is a good thing as well, why is the big companies asking that the big exchanges asking them to drop drop the MLM side of their business? And when they were asked to drop it, according to them, or this person that is arguing me, who is encouraging people to invest in PLCU, said that's why they've created PLCU X. So that's going to be the MLM side of it, whereas the PLCU is going to be free of MLM. She's not the first person I've heard. Somebody has told me that before. I am like, what is going on? Why would it become this? Why would I trust you if I've told you to say, stop doing this? And then you then you created another branch for it and say, look, I've stopped doing it on this one, but I have it over there. Why would I trust you? And we all know that the business of this PLCU or PLCUX and those other things. It is the main business, the money making is from recruiting people, really. Well, it's crazy how people not seeming to seem to understand these things. Yeah. I've seen people preach about this PLCU hyperverse, and they're comparing it to real estate. I've heard people say it's just like real estate when you invest in real, real estate. This is when they're talking about how any investment can crash, any investment you do will go down anyway. So you need to understand it can well, not will go down, can go down, can you can lose money, etc. And they're saying even real estate is the same like you invest in crypto. Like, listen, yes, when you invest in things, everything you do is there's risk. When you invest in things, yes, it might depreciate, it might appreciate. However, I personally don't think real estate and crypto, they are the same level in terms of security, in terms of guarantees, though. I don't think crypto gives you the same guarantee as real estate. I don't think so. I don't know about much much about the crypto world, but I know a little bit about real estate because I have properties. Yeah, I'm currently building a two bedroom flat as well, and the one the first one I had I've had that since 2015. First of all, I'm getting rent from it. I don't know if you can if you get rent in crypto. Do you get rent from crypto? <laughs> and I don't believe that if you buy a house, say. 300,000 pounds 10 years ago, I don't believe that that house would have gone down to 1,000 pounds or 100,000 pounds even. As long as you're looking after it, as long as you're maintaining that house, the value would only appreciate. 
even if it goes down a little bit over time for whatever the market, the world market, whatever happens, I don't believe it will go down to 100,000 or 200,000 even since you bought it 10 years ago. I don't believe that. But from what I have discovered with crypto, you can make money quickly. You can put buy crypto and maybe tomorrow, boom, you make big money. That's fact. That's true. But also, you will lose all that money in a matter of time. And I know people who invested in crypto, they can't tell me right now they've made any money from it. Their money is stuck. They're not telling me, oh, I'm renting it, I'm making some profit from that. They're not telling me, oh, the value have increased. Whereas with real estate, I get rent paid. Every year I get rent paid. Fact. And that money I reuse it to do another development elsewhere. My land is there. It's increased in value since I got it. I got a rice farm. I got even bigger farms and I'm going to, I'm going to expand, expand it more. People are trying to get you to put money into their pockets by telling you things that go against the world, the actual world we're living in, making you feel like, well, this is the government versus us. This is us, the people revolting, trying to take over our rights, taking control of our whatever. Bro, if you can put money into something that is not regulated, something that you don't know, something that can disappear at any time, well, you might as well put your money on the streets, man. Just leave it out. Or bring it to me, man. If you haven't got anything to do with your money, come and give it to me, bro. Because I don't understand why you would decide to say, let me put money into somebody. I'm not saying the crypto in general. The crypto, if you want to invest, bro, go ahead or sis, go ahead, study the market, study it, or Forex, and then invest your money in that. But if somebody come and meet you and promise you 10x, Forex, whatever that is, in the space of four months, three months, or a year, you become a billionaire. Bro, or sis, do you not think, hang on a minute, how is that possible? Can you not just think? Just out of common sense, man, why would you think real estate is less guaranteed than crypto? Why? Surely, surely, if you buy your house or you build a house, the house will be there for a long time. Even if the value, say, the, the decrease, depreciates, but the house will still be there, though. You can live in it. You can rent it. I mean, making rent money from that. Why is the house value still appreciating? Your kids will come and use that house. Does that happen in crypto? I'm not entirely sure, man. You guys tell me if you think that happens in crypto as well. Please tell me. Educate me on that one. But people need to wake up, you know? People need to... I think people like to be scammed, really. People... Sorry, I'm just repeating this over and over because I've seen people complain and now they're investing again to the same people who've lied to them. The other thing is, these guys are trying to make us think that fiat money is not good. We should not be using fiat money because it's controlled by governments, regulated. They own our money. If you go to the bank, you can't. Somebody argue me, one person who also said they invested in Hyperverse and Novotech and PLCU, they're trying to argue that, well, the banks keep your money, they use your money for business. Um, when you go to take your money, in fact, when you take certain money, you have to answer all kinds of questions. That's my money. I don't need that. I don't need any questions. My money, I need to get it out. Okay, good. But I've seen people try to get money or withdraw whatever rewards they have from Hyperverse, the money they put in back. Since April to now, they have not received their money yet. What's going on? Every time I've been to the bank to collect whatever little I have there, I take the money out. I get it. Yes, if I'm going to take big money, they'll ask me questions, etc., it's two things. Either, of course, the bank wants to use your money to do business, but also they want to secure you. They want to protect you from fraud. That's fact as well. We cannot deny that. They want to make sure that if you, you're requesting lots of money, it's your it's you who's requesting that money for whatever reason. You know what I mean? If money comes into your account that is so big, they will have to, you will have to answer some questions for that as well. In the crypto world, who's regula regulating that? If your money goes in there and disappears, who, who are you asking for your money? But yeah, my friend, Danny D, posted another video that I watched earlier on about this Mr. H dude. You got the covers. You can clearly see that there's a different, different people they are using. It's not the same person. It's different people. The voices are different. The body shape is different. The, the, the accents are different. All of it. But you people, and they, but they tell you they don't want to see his face because obviously the controversial thing they're doing is revolution, etc., etc. Bro, and you believe that you actually believe that somebody will cover their face to do a revolution. I don't get it. You know, I wonder why people like Elon Musk and then people not looking to invest in some of these things so they can 3x their money.
you know, all those places Novotech that is promoting 3x your money, surely, surely those billionaires should, would have invested then if they think really you, you will 3x your money or your 4x your money or 9x. Surely, surely those billionaires want to double their money or triple their money. They will invest in it and triple their money in space of months. I don't get it. Somebody sent me a video about Novotech trying to preach to me that it works. They make money from it. When I check the video out, it's rubbish. It's a recruitment video as well. And I challenge them on it. I say, but look, these guys are recruiting people. And what they're saying is clearly not true. They pretend it's not MLM, but it is. The guy who came and spoke to say, oh, I don't work for them. But he didn't preach about the, about the company the whole time. He's telling people, if he puts, I put 3K, look how many I, I have. And I have a million by the end of the year. I like, what? Somebody else make a phone call from America showing his cars, showing all his fancy stuff to see, you see what I've made. I'm relaxing now in my in my work, in my office or whatever, you know, my place. And he said, that's what freedom gives you, you know, freedom. They're preaching all this about freedom, financial freedom. That's what they make you think as if it's that easy, financial freedom. I've not seen any rich, I've been, I was listening to some rich dudes like Kevin Hart and them people. Kevin Hart is talking about how, how he has to wake up early morning, you have to travel here, you have to run there, you have to go there, it's busy, you have to go everywhere. The man is working for his money. He's a millionaire, multi-millionaire. He's still traveling and doing work, getting up very early, meetings, traveling, this and that, whatever. So where, where is the freedom that we're talking about? When you work for yourself, you work harder, man. It's not easy. You're going to work harder and harder and harder than when you work for other people, right? You work nine to five, you come home, at least you got stuff to do for yourself if you want to. But when you're doing yours, you've got to stay on top of it, especially for the first few years. You've got to stay on top of it, my friend. So it's not easy. Yes, you might decide because you're the boss now, it's your work. At least you're working for yourself. That's good. And you might decide to, okay, decide to say, okay, today I'm not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, that's fine because you're the boss. But the fact remains that you are still going to work harder because it's your business now. There was another Zoom meeting video I saw where one lady was talking about how much money you know, she got or she puts in and she's making, etc. Then Keith, as a guy called Keith Williams, was on the call, stopped her and says, oh, we don't do money, I just need to correct you. We don't do money here, we don't give money, you know, we don't only do rewards and stuff like that. Yeah? He said the lady should change her language. Why did he do that? Is he scared of talking about money? Is there something wrong? Is that because really they don't want people to know the truth? I don't understand, I don't get it. Something's not right. They're taking your money, guys, but they don't want you to know. And these guys who are all talking about don't use, talking against the fiat money. That's what they're using, though. They get you to put fiat money into their system in the hope that you're going to get crypto. And then they're withdrawing the money and carrying on with their business. That is why when you go to withdraw some money or whatever that is they're going to give you, you cannot withdraw because they've taken all the money. <laughs> they've taken all the money and they block the system to pretend as if it's an IT thing. They withdraw money. And it's funny, all these companies seem to have IT issues at certain times. Like Novotech, this guy was talking on the Zoom saying Novotech on Fridays have IT glitches. Every Friday, what's going on? So he said, that's the only, they said, what's the downside to Novotech? He said, oh, well, the only thing is on Fridays we have IT glitch. IT, they have IT glitch, but it's got to do with the website or whatever. Nothing else apart from that, nothing else. You just make money. I'm like, what? First of all, that's not true. It can't just be one issue every time. And why, if that's the truth, if that's the case, why is it one issue every time? Why? Why is it the same thing every time? Every weekend, what's going on? Because they block people not to take money, so they take money and they block the system and they carry on their business. That's what I think anyway. Similar things that happen for Hyperverse. IT glitches. You will see, once they've pumped this other pon Ponzi one they're doing, the Hyper Nation, the first few people might make money. Might, you know, I say might as well. So you can feel happy, they'll give you one X back, so you feel happy. And then there will be a time now when you want to withdraw, they said, oh, there's IT problems. Then that, that, the next minute they come up with another new scheme, which you have to buy again, because that's what they've done from Hyperverse to Hypernature. You have to buy a package, you have to buy a yellow box, they call it passport, man, so you have to have a passport. <laughs> and he says, one of the guys, it was uh, Carl Pesh, or no, Pina Kinak that was talking about that, saying you have to have a passport to get into Hyper Nation. That's the yellow box you have to buy. And that is claiming that that makes it authentic now because now you have to have a passport. Bro, I've already bought Hyperverse. If that's the case, why can't that not just be transferred to Hyper Nation? Why do I have to buy again another passport? You know I mean? They're preaching, they're talking as if this is a proper country or a world that where you have to 
go to and it, first of all if the thing is not centralized if it's free why are we getting passport why are we taking i thought we, we want to get freedom we just go no why do we need passport we should just go if that's the great case so I, and people are sad people sat there listening to this guy talk i'm like Pina, I cannot, what's going on <laughs> you know what i mean seriously man people please think carefully use common sense i don't have to take out statistics read about these things too much to show you that listen do not invest in something that you don't know the person the person covers their face and and their fingers and arms and everything their hands it don't make no sense to me i don't know why it does why it makes sense to you it doesn't make sense that somebody's going to promise you 3x or 4x or 10x your money in the space of a year or less than that even and you invest in it i don't understand how you understood that and then you guys who are tricking people into doing this you should stop please stop this is not good especially you targeting the community black people saying they're your people preaching to them calling them oh yeah my people i want you to have knowledge and stuff like that but you are taking their money you're traveling around the world living lavish life from people's money anyway listen i'll stop here for now guys don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell like this video so that i reach more people and share it but what i will leave with you guys as always there is no easy way to make money so watch out look after your money look after yourselves this is africlad youtube channel see you soon